these holes to be perfectly. I don't know how they put that in there. Hmm. <clears throat> I think that's as close as we're gonna get. So now we simply mount in CPU screws, which take a little while, especially for how difficult it is. <laughs> Hard to get the screw in there without screwing everything up. There we go. <sighs> Getting a good picture there, Josh? I guess, somewhat. Yeah, sure. So we have six of these holes, just of these screws, just screw into the holes. It feels so useless. You will get to build the next one, I swear. <laughs> God. <clears throat> if you just want to, like, skip to, like, when we're done putting this in, because it can take a while. Because <clears throat> we want to show everything that we do. We don't want to skip any parts. But we want to show how to exactly mount. Um motherboard to it. And now these holes, how is it, how are these holes screwed up here? Okay, I think that's good. Better just put okay. these back on. So now we're gonna mount the, <coughs> we're gonna mount the, this case fan, and it plugs in right here. You can see that. Right there. Before you plug anything in, just show up there. Yeah. Okay, now for uh, oh, we have to add in the graphics card. Graphics card. Yeah, the graphics card. Zoom out okay. if you can. It and goes into this PCI slot. I'm pretty sure it's a graphics card. Oh. It might be a sound card or something. No, this is not a graphics card. It's a sound card. Sound card. Um. Well, it can go into any one of these. Yes, whatever this is. Or internet card, anyways. That's what I'm saying. It just simply goes into that slot. You just push it down. It should lock into place there. Then you take the, the screw. graphics card screw it in. Screw it sound in card. Right or the sound card. Wait, dude. It's a little weird position, but... I need to get it in. There. So I just. And there we go. It's nice and snug. You don't want anything too tight. <clears throat> now, um, we're gonna start doing the connections because we have everything in. Um, first of all, we're gonna uh. Plug this power connector. We're gonna plug this power the power connect. This is also power. Connector. We're gonna plug that in right here into this big white thing right here. You should click there, and this thing here goes right here. It's a little hard to see the little. I see the spot. The little part right there. You'll see it after the aftermath of it. Click and it goes right there. Um, now is the part for powering the drives. Um, first, we're gonna um, power the uh, CD drive here. First of all, we should get the SATA cables because we need those. I'm gonna use this one to power this hard drive right here. So just simply go in. And if you had a second hard drive, you'd snap that in right there, but 
fortunately we do not. Now we're going to uh, power this thing up with this power cable. Let's get these cables on here. Should just simply go in like that. Then we're going to need to power up this optical drive by plugging in the second serial cable and simply plugging this in. It's a little difficult to see, but I'm doing the same thing as I did with the optical drive. And all I need to do now is just the same thing with just the other. I just need to power this thing up by plugging in the power connector. Wrong way, I think. Sometimes it's a little difficult getting everything in the right places. Because the cables and other things. Yeah, it can easily get in the way of, you, of your work. Sometimes it can be hard. Just like with the other computer we built, the hard drive was hard to get in. Yeah. And the sack cables. Push it over like this. It just gets, it's just a little difficult. I need more space power supplies to get in the way. How many watts is it? It's... Mm, 300. How do you know? Oh, 300 watt. Pretty sure I had it in there. Yeah, I'm focusing into that, but whatever. There we go. There. Now all we need to do is connect the uh, power, just the power connector, and that goes right in here. Did it go in this one, Josh? Yeah, it went right here. It went into the first, the second left. This one. Right. That one. Yep. Are you sure? Mhm. Mm okay. Now we have the H D L E D. Okay, you need to get out here because I need to see where it goes what because we do not have the manual. There's the power. And the LEDs go right here. I don't know which one goes where, but... We'll just see. Okay, now the USBs. I'll just leave it, it's okay. Um, so it pretty much goes right. I'm not sure what these are. Right beside the power to the motherboard, like the green and the red wires. Um, this one, they are both different. We're just gonna leave these because I'm not sure where these go. <laughs> and there, we have finished the CPU build. And uh, just uh, we'll end this video and we'll uh, uh, make the next video for the power up. So this is a PC uh, that we built like a few seconds ago, <laughs> and uh, we connected a mouse and a keyboard and uh, so now we're monitors. just we're all good to go. So here, we're just seeing here what is this moment of truth. Oh, you can see the CD drive right there. CD drive. Uh, oh, there it is. Here, here it comes. Woo! Okay. Okay, now let's see the inside, what it looks like. Well, I mean, I know what it's it looks like. It's a little of a mess, but... Oh, the lighting here down here sucks. It's a little of a mess. You see the fans working. But it's a little mess. No way. Okay, and look that's how that. you build a PC. Obviously, uh... A default background there. <laughs>